Hey y'all, welcome to Blonay TV, bringing you the messy in these streets. I'm your host, Lisa Blonay, and this is What's Tea. Y'all, when will the madness stop? I mean, Danny Lay has yet again tried to get another woman removed from their own platform. At this point, I'm convinced that Danny Lay rabbit ass is stuck on stupid. I'm sorry. Why are you so hell bent on stopping a black woman's bag? See, we know that you're afraid to face the hard questions, the real questions. We get it. But somebody has to stop this, okay? I mean, she's walking around here as if she is Beyonce. Can someone please get her a new team? And if she is moving and making moves behind her team's back, the people that rock with her, that's why. Somebody needs to get this girl her clown shoes. And who better to do it than Kendra G herself? Y'all go ahead and take a listen to this. Red for Phil. This goofy ass person of the day award goes to Danny Lay. And let me tell you why. Danny Lay is in the city of Chicago. I don't know why. Probably got a high school appearance. Who the hell knows? But she was set to do an interview with the morning show. And she requested that I, Kendra G, be removed from the interview because she was uncomfortable talking to me. Girlfriend, this ain't wildin' out. You ain't gonna be Simone me. <laughs> now your whole interview has been canceled, but I'm trying to figure out why ain't you wanna talk to me in the first place? I actually been on the radio defending your honor. I really felt the way when your baby daddy played you on that infamous IG Live and I defended you on the radio. Now, shout out to be Simone, who I know in real life, rock with in real life, but I actually understood why you didn't wanna do wildin' out with her. But I'm still trying to figure out why the hell you ain't wanna talk to me? Now, are you nervous? I'm gonna ask you the questions that need to be asked. Like, are you still sleeping with your baby daddy after he beat your brother up and played you on the IG Live? And you know what? I probably would've asked you that question because I need to know because if you forgave him, that means I need to forgive him. Are you nervous I was gonna bring up that whack ass Jello Bone song? Girlfriend, I don't care. You can make a song about your skin tone and, and celebrate it. I love being a dark skinned woman. Ain't no whack ass song like that gonna make me insecure about my complexion. Are you nervous that I was gonna ask you like, how did it feel to be a girlfriend thinking you was better than all the baby mamas just to become a baby mama and get treated worse? And you know what, Denny Lay? I probably would've asked you all those questions because guess what? That's my job. That's what I do. I ask the questions that the people want to know. Maybe you should focus on your job, be in the studio and make a hit. And we got to talk about your music and not about your personal life. That's not my fault that your personal life is more relevant than your music. That's your fault. You around here trying to get people removed from interviews. It don't go down like that. Now you miss out on the opportunity to have a radio interview in number one station in Chicago. And guess what? This opportunity might not come around again because your music ain't popping. So with that being said, sit your goofy ass down. Enjoy Chicago while you're here. Those are just my thoughts. What do y'all think? Leave your thoughts below. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment, and share my shit. This is Lisa Blonay, and I'll be back on the next video.